Unquestionably, what has been the highlight of my four years here are the amazing people that I have met. And those who really stand out, what we call the stars of the living bridge. But what is the living bridge? For Prime Minister Modi, it was those people who bound the two countries together, the institutions, the ideas, that didn't, weren't part of the government-to-government -government relationship. For me, the two words living bridge are what exactly they say. Those relationships may go back a century or more, but they are very much alive today and relevant. And like all things living, they need to be nurtured. And of course, the bridge. It is what joins the two countries. They may be separated by many miles, but they are linked. Part of this, of course, is the UK's one and a half million strong Indian diaspora who contribute to the economic, social, political, and cultural landscape that makes up British society. Indo-British relationship is so special because of the breadth. It goes across time, across geography, and across professions. Across time, well, there was Dadabai Naroji, who was the UK's first Indian origin MP in 1892. Today, he'd be in more crowded company. And across geographies, well, Dilip Jajodia, who came to Britain in 1962, he bought the legendary Duke's Cricket Ball Company, and he earned the nickname as the Indian who made English bowlers swing. There's the neurosurgeon of the millennium, Robin Sengupta, who after 51 years in Newcastle, returned to Kolkata to establish a top-notch neuroscience research and treatment center. And across the professions, well, there are 850 Indian businesses in the UK, there are over 20,000 doctors and nurses working in the National Health Service. And that spread applies not just to people, but to institutions, to research centres, to university faculties, to cultural organisations, to cookery schools, to design workshops. And like any other living thing, it is a bridge that's getting stronger, like the literally living root bridges of nature in Chirapunji. I'm particularly proud that student numbers have trebled over my time here. And in turn, 500 British students are due to come to Indian universities this summer to make the most of some of the excellent education opportunities India has to offer. When Prime Minister Modi went to Britain in 2015, he spoke about the unbeatable combination between the UK and India. I thought about that phrase a lot in the last four years and I profoundly believe that it is true. It's true because of the successes that crowd that living bridge that joins the two countries. So from next week, we will bring you stories of the stars of that living bridge that do link Britain and India.